I respect those guys just as much as I respect the, you know, quote unquote, new school guys. And, you know, those guys are the guys who laid the foundation and, and kind of built the RBU form for this school. Um, so you talk about Steve Owens, obviously Billy, and, and one of my favorites, Joe Watson. You know, um, th those guys kind of, you know, year by year kind of hand the torch to each other. But, um, but they started the legacy, the tradition, you know, at this program and, and I think all universities, to be quite honest. But, um, you know, when you think about, you know, running backs in this school, you, you got to obviously start with those guys. I'm just a great person. Um, extremely generous and my, my career kind of took off when when he became you know the running back coach and um you know his wife kim and his you know three kids great family um but you talk about a guy who lights up the room talk about a guy who's extremely selfless um and she was more than the running back coach for me um and and i'm sure every you know player that he coached but um, it, it puts these in, you know, perspective and, you know, him being able to get back to, you know, the college form and, you know, um, you know, look forward to seeing him on the road and things of that nature. But, you know, a great mentor of mine, great friend, um, someone who, who really just took my career and helped me, you know, from all aspects and, you know, obviously the husband and father that I am and coach that I am now, you know, he's one of the guys that got me into this profession because I used to see him and learn so much from him and see how much he poured into his players and um, obviously an extremely sad deal and, you know, prayers go out to his family and, you know, um, but unbelievable person. Great. Um, we got to use it as a weapon and um, that's what we've been able to do. Obviously, it's new to a lot of people, but um, with what Levy has done in the past and, and us being able to get on the field fin finally, um, it's been it's been a, a huge advantage for us. So we got to obviously continue to build practices, stack practices on top of good practices. Um, but our guys are handling it well, you know, extremely well conditioned. So obviously started with the offseason program, which Coach Schmidt and his and his staff. And um, but we, we've handled it the right way. Those guys are working hard and um, we, we know we got to use it as our advantage. I think from a mental standpoint, it was very tough. Um, and, you know, with him, he, he's a great kid and he always does the right thing and, you know, kind of fell into a, you know, a hole, so to speak. But um, he handled it the right way. Um, he stayed in contact with us, stayed in contact with the team, practice, didn't miss a practice. Um, obviously, was extremely disappointed. Um, I think both sides were. But, you know, um, he handled it like a man. And, you know, when his opportunity came, I think he took advantage over it. But he, he's a guy that we're looking forward to, you know, finally getting on the field and, and obviously doing some great things for us. Um, they've they've looked good. They've looked really good. Um, just just the the most important thing that I'm I'm happy about is just they show up every single day to work hard, show up every day to learn, um, and then just the physical side of things. At that position, you got to be extremely physical. You know, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Um, you know, guys got stronger in the off season, and and um, we're we're handling it the right way, and and guys are competing at a high level. You know, Eric Gray's done a, a unbelievable job every single day. Um, and, and so is Javante. Javante's come along every single day for a young guy. You want him to continue to go that way. And, you know, he hadn't been, hadn't been stagnant at all. And obviously we're throwing a bunch at him and he should still be in high school, but he's handling it the right way. But um, the, the whole group itself, collectively, I'm extremely impressed. Javante will be a good receiver too. He will, he will. You know, obviously, you know, as a young guy, you just got to, put him in certain situations to make sure he's comfortable and, and continue to work on his hands. But, you know, he, he's showing some good flashes so far. Yeah, it has. It's been a, it's been a fun, you know, I guess going on my uh, fourth year coaching. And um, it's been great. It's been great. But, you know, obviously being around really good people, um, even from the previous staff to this staff, it's, um, that's, that's what helps me. You know, if I'm around great people who works hard, who has the same goals that I do, which is obviously pouring to young guys, trying to, help them not as a athlete, but as a person, as a man, and um, and whatever aspect they want to do in life, you know, that that's what it's about. And, um, you know, obviously from the competitive side, you know, being back in it on the sidelines and being able to kind of take a step back and look at it from a coach's eye. Uh, sometimes it's frustrating because you can't go out on the field and do things, but, um, you know, this is a great place to be. I've always told my family, my wife, that, hey, at some point I want to end, end up at Norman, Oklahoma, and, I didn't know if that was going to be coaching or just living here. Um, it's a great place for for my kids. They love it. And um, but you know, the, from the coaching side, it's been great. It's been great. It's been a privilege. And um, 
you know, I'm just, I don't get razzled too much. I just, you know, coach the best I can, let those guys do what they got to do on the field and kind of take a step back, you know, because on Saturdays, they're going to be the ones out there. So I just got to just try to be encouraging as much as possible. Always try to bring competition here and, um, you know, just let those guys know, man, this isn't life or death. You know, this is, this is football. And obviously we want to go out there and compete and play a great game and, and, and me more than anyone, but you know, there, there's other aspects in life that are a little bit more important and, you know, and um, you just got to obviously have, have things, you know, perspective wise and, and make sure those things are right. Anything about the whole thing surprise you about coaching that you didn't know when you were a player? No, no, I, I wouldn't say anything surprised me. I, I think, you know, I played long enough, been around a lot of different great coaches and great staff to kind of realize, you know, what I was getting myself into. It's been great. It's been great. You know, every, every morning, you know, I get here extremely early and sometimes I beat Coach Roof here. Sometimes he beats me here. But just to see him as I'm pulling in or see his vehicle there, it's, it's you know, it's um, it's definitely, you know, encouraging. And um, he, he's a great guy, a lot of a lot of knowledge and um, just just thrilled to have him on staff as well as TB. You know, TB is a great guy who's an extremely great motivator and, you know, he's a guy that circles, circles all the I's, dots all the T's, and, you know, he doesn't miss a thing. And, and really just to um, learn not only from the recruiting aspect, but also, you know, from the game of football and just in life. You know, those guys, if they've had a lot of success in their coaching careers, um, they've been a lot of a lot of different places, but, um, you know, they bring a different side of the mindset and the emotion of emotional side of things to the game, to our teammate or to our, our players. And um, it's eye opening. And, you know, just like I said a few seconds ago, it's not about the wins and losses all the time, but it's about motivating your players, putting them in the right position to be successful, not only on the field, but off the field as well. So um, just to, you know, watch those guys and I probably don't say much, you know, but just to pay attention and see how they handle certain situations, whether it's a good play or a bad play, it's definitely eye-opening. Oh, he's a great athlete. He, he's a really good athlete. He's strong. He's powerful. Um, but, you know, when you think about a young kid, you always, you know, wonder how mature he is and, and the mindset. And, um, you know, can he handle playing as a freshman? And, you know, he's put himself in a great situation um, since January to um, – you know, have that opportunity if he continues to work hard, continue to grasp the offense and, um, you know, just just stay physical. But, I mean, you know, like I said, he's done a great job with our strength coaches in the weight room and the offseason program of, of getting stronger, getting faster. And, um, you know, when the spring ball is over, he's going to want more, you know, because he's going to feel like he's just now, you know, scratching the surface. He's finally understanding the play calls and the concepts of things. But, um, you know, we're, we're excited to have him on the team. Yeah, not only for a veteran, but just for for a running back. You know, you don't ha he doesn't have a lot of tread on his tires, and he hadn't um, had a lot of snaps. But um, he's had a lot of practice. He's had a lot of reps in that standpoint. But as far as physically getting beat up and worn down, you know, I mean, he's <laughs> he's young. He, he's young. He's fresh. So for us, for him individually, um, that's going to go great until week 10, 11 of the season, to where you know, obviously we have Eric, we have Ham, we have obviously Javante and Gavin. And, and, and our other guys with Todd and, and Tawi, um, you know, so for him, you know, he's fresh, but he, he's a mature player. Um, he's obviously been around for a while, so he knows how to take care of himself, knows how to take care of his body, but knows how to get himself ready for Saturday. So um, looking forward to a big year for him. For more information, you can visit TulsaWorld.com.